Today I'm going to show you how to make a three bean salad and a quick vinaigrette in a cruet. You can use this vinaigrette on salads as well as with this bean salad if you care to. So here is our first recipe, our three bean salad. So let's talk about beans a little bit. Beans are a type of vegetable. They come from the category called a legume. If you like beans or peas, you've eaten legumes before. But there are about 16,000 types grown all over the world in different sizes, shapes, colors, and textures. You can eat green beans and snow peas in their pods, fresh off the vine, while other types, the edible parts, the seeds, are inside the pods. Legumes have a lot of great nutrients like iron, fiber, calcium, potassium. They are low in fat, they are high in protein, but they also contain carbohydrates. Some example of legumes are chickpeas, peanuts, black beans, kidney beans, navy beans, and many other types of beans. I'm gonna use three different types of canned beans today. I'm gonna use red kidney beans, I'm gonna use garbanzo beans or chickpeas, as well as cannellini beans, which are white beans. I'm gonna dice two tablespoons of shallots. I have salt and pepper, about five to six cloves of minced garlic, and two scallions. I also have extra virgin olive oil, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. If you wanted to use dried beans instead of canned beans, you could do that. It would take a little bit longer, but it could be worth the effort. You would pick through the beans to make sure there's no rocks or deformed beans. You would soak them overnight in the refrigerator with plenty of water. Then the next day you would rinse them again, and then you would boil them. After they come up to a boil, you would simmer them for about one to two hours, depending on the type of bean, until they're tender. Making sure that you are seasoning the water to make sure that these beans have some flavor in them. So now back to my canned beans. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open all my cans and I am going to strain the beans and wash them. The liquid in all canned beans is a mixture of water, salt, and the starch released from the beans themselves. The salt acts as a preservative to keep the beans tasting fresh, which means the liquid is generally very salty. The only time that I ever saved that liquid from the beans is when I'm making either a bean soup or a chili where I want that starchiness to thicken and flavor the soup or stew that I'm making. Otherwise, I wash it away with cold water until it is not white and frothy on the top. So now let's move on to the rest of our prep. I am using a shallot. A shallot is part of the onion family, very closely related to onions, garlic, and chives. Whether you're gonna dice it, mince it, or slice it, they are used for seasoning dishes. It adds a nice flavor of a cross between an onion and a little bit of garlic. I dice it just like I would dice an onion, horizontal cuts, vertical cuts, then my cross cuts from front to back, making sure that the stem end is intact throughout the whole process so they're easier to dice. I already have my garlic minced. I did a bunch of it in advance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to sweat my shallots. I have about a tablespoon of the regular olive oil. This is for cooking. It's not the extra virgin olive oil. This is the regular olive oil. I'm gonna add my shallots to the pan and I'm gonna let them start to heat up and cook. I'm looking for them to sweat. When I sweat something, I cook it through without adding any color. When they are soft and tender, I can add my garlic. I like a lot of garlic in this recipe. It makes the bean dish more delicious, but if you wanna cut back, you can do that. If you wanna add more, you can do that also. But I think about five or six cloves is way more than enough. I wanna heat that through so I can make sure that I am cooking the garlic. When you start to smell that aroma of garlic, um, it is ready to come off of the stove and we're gonna get ready to put it into our salad. As I let the shallots and the garlic cool, I'm just going to slice my scallions or my green onions. I wanna make sure that I slice them nice and thin. 
right? All of the beans are very small, so I don't wanna have big chunks of any other vegetables in there. I want everything to be similar in size, if not smaller. I want the beans to be the star and the shallots, the garlic and the scallions to be the accompaniment. So I like to make them nice and thin so they blend in well. So now I have my three beans in the salad. The front one is a garbanzo bean, the left one is a white cannellini bean, and the one on the right is a red kidney bean. I'm gonna add my shallots, garlic, and I already have my scallions in the bowl, and I am going to start to season. I'm going to add my one to two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Start with one tablespoon. If that's enough, you can add more. We use extra virgin olive oil for this salad because it is more flavorful. We're going to add about one teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. Vinegar helps to be an enhancer of flavor. So I don't wanna go overboard with the vinegar. I just wanna add about a teaspoon so that it helps marry all the flavors together. I'm gonna to season with salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna to toss this completely to make sure that I am coating all of the beans with the extra virgin olive oil. If you wanna add a little bit more, you can do so. I just don't want it to be saturated with oil. I'm gonna taste it for seasoning, and then I'm going to wrap it, put it in my refrigerator overnight so the flavors can really come together. When you're getting ready to serve it, take it out of the refrigerator about 20 minutes before you're getting ready to serve it. So, because sometimes the oil solidifies in the refrigerator, so you want it to be able to come to room temperature. Taste for seasoning and enjoy the salad. It goes well on its own or within a mixed green salad. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a copycat cruet recipe. When Ms. Parker and I were younger, I used to go to her house and we used to enjoy salads in the summer with homemade croutons. And we always used a dressing that was very similar to this that we made in this glass cruet that you can find in the supermarket, right? You can make the dressing right in there and it pours out really easily. So here are the ingredients to make this salad dressing. Okay, the bottle has lines on it already to indicate where you need to pour your vinegar water and oil but i will tell you those measurements in a moment so here i have my dry ingredients i have a half a teaspoon of garlic powder half a tablespoon of onion powder half a tablespoon of white sugar two teaspoons of dried oregano a pinch of black pepper a pinch of thyme a quarter teaspoon of dried basil a half a tablespoon of dried parsley a pinch of celery salt and two teaspoons of salt I'm just gonna mix them all together and I'm gonna put them in the bottom of the cruet. Now, if you only have like a glass jar with a lid, you can absolutely use that. Put these dry ingredients inside and then you're going to use the following measurements. I have a quarter of a cup of vinegar. You can use white vinegar, red wine vinegar, or balsamic. You're gonna add two tablespoons of water. Here, I'm just filling it up to the line. And then you're gonna add two thirds of a cup of olive oil. I'm gonna add a blend of extra virgin olive oil and regular olive oil. I find that sometimes for dressings, if I just do all extra virgin olive oil, it's too strong for me. So I like to use this combination. Then I'm gonna put the cap on the cruet or if you have a jar, I'm gonna screw the cap on and then I'm gonna shake it. And I have an instant vinaigrette, but this is not a permanent emulsion. There is no mustard in there to help pull together. Here's my before shaken picture. Here is my after shaken picture. So every time I use this dressing, I just shake it up and pour it on my salad. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell for notifications for when we post new videos.